so today we are going to start nothing but the astringent so what is mean by astringent so what is the astringent before astringents first we have to know the what is the topical agents what is mean by the topical the topical agents are those substances which apply to body surface including applications within the body cavities that open outside so topical nothing but you have to apply on the topical route from the externally we have to apply the externally to our body nothing but the skin so that is nothing but the topical agent so what is mean by the topical agents the topical agents are those substances which apply to the body surface we have to apply on a body surface on the external layers applications within the body cavities that open outside what is mean by the body cavities anyone know what is the body cavities in our body there are mainly the two body cavities one is the dorsal and next one is the ventral so what is the body cavities body cavities are nothing but the these are the these are the organ which prevents to the internal organs this is the surface of the body which prevents the internal organs nothing but the body cavities in an our in our body they are having a two wait for a minute so we have to so nothing but the in our body there are mainly the two cavities first one is the dorsal and the ventral cavity so what is mean by the body cavities these are the cavities which protects our internal organs so that is nothing but the external layer of the body so the topical agents you have to apply on the externally nothing but the body surface applications within the body cavities which are open outside which are applied by the externally that is called as a topical agent so these are the compound that act locally with skin or mucous membrane mainly by mechanical or physical manner what is mean by the mucous membrane what is the mucus anyone know mucus membrane this is the one of the layer which protects the nothing but the, it is on a surface it is a ac surface which protects to the internal organ that is nothing but the mucus membrane and all topical agents you have to apply on the mucus membrane as well as the externally from your body surface nothing but the topical agents simply topical means pertaining to a particular locality or place or simply it means local very simple topical means just to keep in mind what is topical you have to apply on the body surface nothing but the skin very simple apan aapla moisturizer face cream kiwa aapla soap apan kuthe apply karto internal nahi na apan outside manje aapla body surface var apan apply karto nothing but the topical agents examples are nothing but the various moisture face cream soaps those are applied for the external layer of the body that is nothing but the topical agents so very simple topical means to a particular locality manje particular space la tumhi externally apply karta it means the local locally apply karna so this is the topical agents are not given by the any roots iv roots or muscular roots or any root just they have to give only the apply the external roots so apply on the body surface nothing but the local topical agent does not absorb directly into the circulation very simple what they said you are you are applying on the externally so they, they are not directly going to the blood circulation they are not going to enter into the circulation so topical agent does not absorb directly into the circulations and that compounds topical compounds having a little pharmacological effect also this is the topical agents very simple just to keep in mind what is the top topical agents the topical agents are those substances which are applied on the body surface or the external layer of the body that is called as a topical agents very apla marathi madhe kay mantat ki j product j compound kiwa j medicines apla स्किन वर अप्लाय करता दैट इज नथिंग बट द अपने आउटर बॉडी सर्फेस ऐसी आउटर साइड लगे अप्लाय करता दैट इज नथिंग बट द टॉपिकल एजेंट्स सो 
सम कंपाउंड्स ऑल्सो हैविंग देन दैट द कंपाउंड्स जब हम अपन अप्लाई कर तो दे आर हैविंग अ वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ द इफेक्ट्स वी आर अप्लाइंग द मॉइस्चराइजर वी आर अप्लाइंग द फेस क्रीम्स वी आर अप्लाइंग द सोप्स बॉडी वॉश दैट प्रोडक्ट्स हैविंग सम डिफरेंट डिफरेंट वेरियस इफेक्ट्स लाइक एडसॉर्बेंट एस्टिंजेंट डिमल्सेंट इमोलिएंट एज वेल एज द प्रोटेक्टिव कुठले कुठले इफेक्ट जब हम तुम्हें तुमच्या शरीरावर जेव तुम्हें तुम्हार बॉडी पर एखाद टॉपिकल एजेंट सप्लाय करता वेरियस इफेक्ट्स आता लाइक एडसॉर्बंट एस्ट्रिंजंट डिमलसंट इमोलिंट एज वेल एज द प्रोटेक्टिव सो वॉट इज मीन बाय द एडसॉर्बंट एडसॉर्बंट नथिंग बट द इट इज द कंपाउंड विच एडसॉर्ब ऑन दी लेयर बट इट इज डायरेक्टली इट विल नॉट एंटर इन टू द ब्लड सर्क्युलेशन नथिंग बट द पार्शियल एब्सॉर्बन ऑफ द कंपाउंड ऑन दी mucus layer only that the adsorbent nothing but the these are the compound they are adsorbing only the mucus surface of your body they are not completely absorbing through the and they are not entering into the blood circulation that is the adsorbent and what is the absorption complete absorption of your medicament nothing but the absorption and adsorbent nothing but the partial absorption nothing but the only they will absorb up to the mucus layer they are absorbing only the mucus layer they are not going to enter into the blood circulation nothing but the adsorbent then astringent so we have to start the topic astringents before starting the topic we have to know what is topical agents what is the use of the topical agents why it is needed so what is the use of the astringent why astringent it is called as a topical so what is mean by the astringent astringents are nothing but the these are the compounds which are used for the protein precipitation there is a shrinkage as well as the constriction of the tissue that is nothing but the astringent so very simple what is mean by the astringents whenever our skin will damage एखाद्या आपला स्किनचा पार्ट जर डॅमेज झाला तर तिथं काय होतं ऍक्च्युली देर इज अ श्रिंकेज ऍज वेल एज द कन्स्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ द बॉडी टिश्यूज अँड देर इज अ प्रोटीन प्रिसिपिटेशन दॅट द प्रोटीन विल प्रिसिपिटेट नथिंग बट द ऍस्ट्रिंजंट सो वॉट दे विल डू वेन एव्हर विल अप्लाय द ऍस्ट्रिंजंट ऍस्ट्रिंजंट एजंट वेन एव्हर विल अप्लाय वॉट दे विल डू दे विल डिक्रीज दे विल वॉट दे विल डू दे आर avoid for the shrinkage as well as the constriction of the tissue and they will solve the protein precipitations and they will recover our damaged skin nothing but the astringent next one is the demulcent what is mean by the demulcent they are these are the agents whenever we will apply they will relieve from the irritation jar aplyala ekhadi jaljal vagare hot asel kiwa आपल्या स्किनवर एखादं जळजळ किंवा खाज सुटत असेल खाजत असेल तर तेव्हा आपण जर डिमल्सेंट अप्लाय केलं तर वॉट दे विल डू दे विल गिव्ह द रिलीव फ्रॉम द इरिटेशन नथिंग बट द डिमल्सेंट एजंट नेक्स्ट वन इज द इमोलियंट वॉट इज मीन बाय द इमोलियंट दे आर दे आर द इमोलियंट्स आर द एजंट्स विच ऍक्ट ॲज अ स्मूथ स्मूथ स्किनिंग नथिंग बट द स्किन स्मूथनिंग नथिंग बट वेन एव्हर विल अप्लाय फॉर एक्झाम्पल आपली हिवाळ्यामध्ये त्वचा इन आवर विंटर सीझन आवर स्किन विल गेट द ड्राय then what will app uh, what will apply nothing but the moisturizer will apply so what they will do they are going to do the skin smoothly nothing but the in that which agents are uh, added to for the moisturizer nothing but the emollient agents what is the emollient agents those are the agents which are which are having a capacity to get the smooth skin nothing but the emollient effect and last one is the protective protective nothing but the they are protect the skin from the dryness from the various like that the dryness and constriction of the tissue then from the irritations those agents are used nothing but the that is are nothing but the protective they are protect so from the skin damage nothing but the protective agent and see adsorbent astringent demulcent emollient as well as the protective these all are the medicaments these all are the agents are applied by the topical root nothing but the externally they are going to apply that is the all about the topical agents so some compound also exhibit the antimicrobial as well as the astringent activity topically antimicrobial manjes kay they are prevents from the microorganism jama tum ekhad ointment apply karta that some ointments having a antimicrobial action nothing but they are going to prevent from the microorganism so they will stop the growth of the microorganism on your wounds so damaged part of the skin 
so what they will do they are act as a antimicrobial agent and next one is the that some compounds having a astringent activity they will prevent from the protein precipitation very simple protein precipitation means kai constriction as well as the shrinkage of the tissue constriction as well as the shrinkage of the tissue means kai wrinkles in old age that persons will get the wrinkles because of the why because there is a constrictions as well as the shrinkage of the tissue but whenever we will apply the wrinkle creams now they are getting the so many in markets so whenever we will apply the wrinkle creams what they will do they will prevents the shrinkage as well as the constrictions of the tissue astringent is nothing but the wrinkle effect nothing but the in marathi madhe what they will call they will call the surkut and nothing but the losing of the skin that time we have to apply the astringent creams those agents containing the astringent agent that we have to apply what they will do they will stop the constrictions as well as the shrinkage of the tissue nothing but the astringent and some inorganic compounds are having a topical local activity and some compounds also having a topical nothing but the local effect manjes kay jeva tumhi apply karta skin var immediately you will get the relief from the irritation relief from the inflammation nothing but that some compounds having which compounds inorganic compounds are having a some topical as well as the local activity so what is the classification of the topical agents see in your exam they are not going to ask about the topical agents as well as the classification but astringents are coming into the topical agents for that purpose i am telling you what is topical agents what is the classification of the topics uh, topical agent but sometime they will ask define topical agents and give its classification so the inorganic compounds the topical agents are mainly classified according to their use of actions as well as the their usual actions as, as well as the uses so for which astringent for which product is used for the which purpose according to their uses they are classified so topical agents are mainly classified according to their uses so what are the classifications they are mainly classified into the five types first one is the protective and adsorbents next one is the antimicrobial next one is the astringent next sulfur and its compound and last one is the miscellaneous compound so now you have to know astringent comes in which activity which category nothing but the topical agent category so protective and adsorbent has uses at astringent che kay uses ahet tar that some astringent compound having a protective some compound act as a adsorbent some compound having a antimicrobial activity and some so protective and adsorbents antimicrobial astringent sulfur and its compound and last one is the miscellaneous compounds these are the classification of the topical agents so now we are going to actually we are going to start about the astringent so what is mean by the astringents still till that you have to know what is the what is the astringent and which category it comes so the astringents comes into the topical agents category topical agents means very simple we have to apply the external layer of your body we have to apply on the body surface we have to apply on the skin nothing but the topical agents those agents are applied on the skin as well as the body surface as well as the outer part of our body nothing but the topical agents and classifications they are mainly classified according to their use nothing but the protective and adsorbents antimicrobial astringent sulfur and the miscellaneous compounds now we are actually will start the astringent so what is the astringent astringents is nothing but the, it is a substance or the chemical compounds that tends to shrink or constrict the body tissues and precipitate the protein and astringents act as a protective layer on the surface very previously only i told what is the astringents very simple nothing but the protein precipitation what is mean by the protein precipitation nothing but the shrinkage as well as the constriction of the body tissues what is mean by the shrinkage as well as the constriction of the body tissues nothing but the wrinkle wrinkleness nothing but the protein precipitation that is the astringent so it is a substance or the chemical compounds that tends to shrink or constrict the body tissues and sometime that the astringent act as a protective layer on the surface due to their protein action astringents are able to reduce the cell permeability what is mean by the permeability cell permeability to 
ability into the penetrate so what they will do they will reduce the cell permeability nothing but the they are going to reduce the shrinkage as well as the constriction of the body tissues but when whenever we'll apply the astringents on your body what they will do they will reduce the cell permeability nothing but the cell permeability nothing but the reduction of the constriction of the body tissues this reduces the local edema exudation and the inflammation nothing but the they are we if we'll apply the astringents on your body what they will do they are going to relieve from the irritations as well as the inflammation inflammation and actually this word astringent is derived from the latin nothing but the astringer meaning to bind fastly so how they will recover how they will decrease the constriction of the body tissues by binding the protein very fastly and what they will do they act as a astringent nothing but the protective layer on the skin. in how they will apply by binding the protein fastly here see protein precipitation precipitation is nothing but the what is the precipitation spreading of the protein so nothing but the constriction of the body tissues so how they will reduce the protein precipitation nothing but the by binding fastly to the protein so they are usually applied to the damaged skin topically me atta sangitle tumhala mainly topical agents aple kuthe apply kartat tar body surface var outer part of our body so skin so mainly astringents are used to apply the damaged skin jithe tumchi skin damage hote tithe kay hote tumcha tissue cha constriction hote so what they will do they will avoid the constriction of the tissue when we will apply the astringent so they are usually applied to the damaged skin topically or to the mucous membrane mucous membrane manjes kay asto asa ha ek surface asto body var cha they are they will act as a preventive from the they will prevents the internal organ that layer is nothing but the mucous membrane mucous membrane ha asa surface asto jo ki internal organ la protect karto that surface is nothing but the mucous membrane ani ta mucous membrane la pan astringents apply kartat so they are usually applied to the damaged skin topically or to the mucous membrane of gastrointestinal tract including the mouth this is the all about the astringent so next one is the types of astringents there are mainly the three types of the astringent first one is the vegetable astringents next one is the metallic astringents and last one is the miscellaneous astringents astringent manje tumhala kay samajla astringent manje kay protein precipitation protein precipitation manje kay asta there is a constriction as well as the shrinkage of the body tissues manje kay wrinkle manje surkutya padne so तुम्ही जेव्हा ऍस्ट्रिंजंट्स अप्लाय करता अँटी ऍस्ट्रिंजंट एजंट जेव्हा तुम्ही अप्लाय करता तेव्हा काय होतं दे आर गोइंग टू प्रिव्हेंट फ्रॉम द कन्स्ट्रिक्शन ऑफ द टिश्यू अँड दे आर गोइंग टू क्युअर द व्रिंकलनेस ऑन युअर बॉडी सो दे आर ऍक्ट ऍज अ सम व्हिजिटेबल एजंट्स ऍस्ट्रिंज व्हिजिटेबल एजंट्स आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू ऍक्ट ऍज अ ऍस्ट्रिंजंट कुठले कुठले आहेत तर टॅनिक ऍसिड ऍज वेल ऍज द गॅलिक ऍसिड मेटॅलिक ऍस्ट्रिंजंट सी ऍल्युमिनियम साल्ट ऍल्युमिनियम क्लोराईड देन झिंक साल्ट फेरी क्लोराइड स्ट्रोनियम क्लोराइड सिल्वर नाइट्रेट एंड द कॉपर सल्फेट इन आवर टॉपिक वी हैव टू स्टडी अबाउट द आलम एज वेल एज द झिंक सल्फेट वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इन टू द एस्ट्रिंजेंट्स द आलम एंड द झिंक सल्फेट्स आर इम्पॉर्टंट विच इज आर यूज फॉर द एस्ट्रिंजेंट पर्पज सो ऑदर मेटालिक एस्ट्रिंजेंट्स आर नथिंग बट द एल्युमिनियम क्लोराइड एल्युमिनियम एसिटेट फेरिक क्लोराइड झिंक क्लोराइड स्ट्रोनियम क्लोराइड सिल्वर नाइट्रेट एज वेल एज द कॉपर सल्फेट एंड मिस्लानियस इट इज नथिंग बट द कोल्ड वॉटर ऑल्सो ऍक्ट ऍज अ ऍस्ट्रिंजंट एज वेल एज द अल्कोहोल ऑल्सो ऍक्ट ऍज अ ऍस्ट्रिंजंट सी जेव्हा तुम्हाला काय करतात जेव्हा तुम्ही एखाद तुम्हाला जेव्हा जखम लागते तेव्हा ते काय करतात दे विल क्लीन बाय युझिंग द विच नथिंग बट द स्पिरिट स्पिरिट कंटेनिंग द रेक्टिफाईड अल्कोहोल तो रेक्टिफाईड स्पिरिट कंटेनिंग द इथेनॉल नथिंग बट द अल्कोहोल सो समटाइम दे आर ऍक्ट ऍज अ गोइंग टू ऍस्ट्रिंजंट्स काय करतात ते अल्कोहोल दे आर गोइंग टू ऍक्ट ऍज अ प्रोटेक्टिव्ह लेअर ऑन द डॅमेज स्किन सो नथिंग बट द मिस्लॅनियस मध्ये काय येतं व्हेरी कोल्ड वॉटर ऍज वेल ऍज द अल्कोहोल दिस इज द टाईप ऑफ द ऍस्ट्रिंजंट्स नाव वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट सो व्हेरी सिम्पल मॅनर वॉट इज द ऍस्ट्रिंजंट्स the agents which are applied locally and gives the protein precipitation action then it causes the contraction and the wrinkling of the tissue reduces the cell permeability constrict the local blood vessels and inhibit the transcapillary movement of the plasma 
protein and what is the effect after applying the astringents on your body anti inflammatory effect nothing but the inflammation nothing but they are going to reduce the inflammation nothing but by decreasing the blood supply to the site of injury te kasa kartat inflammation reduce tar jithe tumhala damage jhale tithe kay kartat they will reduce the supply of the blood they are going to decrease the blood supply and next one is the decrease the blood lose by coagulating plasma protein so what they will do how they will reduce the supply of the blood nothing but by the coagulation nothing but the clotting of the plasma coagulation of the plasma protein then the anti perspirant effect anti perspirant effect nothing but the sweating perspiration is nothing but the sweating so what they will do they act as anti perspirant effects by decreasing the secretion of the sweating by decreasing the pore size of the skin so during summer season you will get the more sweating so then we will apply the anti perspirant nothing but the deodorant powder we are going to apply so what what they will do see ek you have to keep in mind all astringents all emollient demulcents adsorbent protectulates they are mainly use mainly using into the your products which products your skin products nothing but the your whatever screen products nothing but the skin lotion moisturizer then various types of the face creams then uh, soaps they are going to use as into nothing but the demulcent then emollient so all these astringents agent nothing but the all topical agents are applying into your skin products so anti perspirant effect now what is your duty you have to check whatever we are using your product in your home nothing but the your powder your cream just you have to check whether any agents are there which act as a astringents whether agent any agents are there which act as a protective so anti perspirant effect it is mainly that the deodorant powder containing the astringent agent so what they will do what they will do they will decrease the secretion of the sweating by decreasing the pore size of the skin जर तुमचे मोर पोर साइज रिलीज झाले तर यू विल गेट द मोर स्वीट सो अँटी परस्पायरंट काय करतात ते व्हॉट दे विल डू डिओड्रंट पावडर व्हॉट दे विल डू दे विल डिक्रीज द पोर साइज ऑफ युअर स्किन अँड व्हॉट विल हॅपन यू विल नॉट गेट द स्वेट सो अँड सम एस्टिंजंट्स हॅव्हिंग अ अँटी मायक्रोबियल ऍक्टिव्हिटी नथिंग बट दे आर गोइंग टू प्रिव्हेंट फ्रॉम द मायक्रोब्स so what is the protein precipitation so mainly that our skin is made up from the lipid as well as the protein so this is the mechanism what will do nothing but the that the metallic bonds which will form and which will binds to the proteins and when there is a chelation will occur and there is a protein precipitation will occur there is a no use of this one just for your information i gave the mechanism of the protein precipitation so what is how occur the protein precipitation first skin is equal to lipid plus protein it is made up from the lipid plus protein and that protein what they will do they will form the peptides bonds and they will form the metallic bonds and what they will do protein precipitation will occur now actually which inorganic as agents are used as a astringent so first one is the zinc sulfate we have to study about the we have to study about the inorganic astringents nothing but the zinc sulfate as well as the potash alum first we will start the zinc sulfate what is the all of you understand what is the topical agent what is astringents saganna samajla ka ka ghai hote yes ma'am speed fast hote no ma'am okay so now we'll going now we are going to start about the inorganic astringents so there are mainly two astringents which are act as a inorganic in your syllabus many are there inorganic but in your syllabus only they give the you have to study about the zinc sulfate as well as the alum so first we are going to start about the zinc sulfate what is the molecular formula for the zinc sulfate z and so4 zinc sulfate is also available into the hydrous form as well as the anhydrous form so if it is under the hydrous form znso4 dot h2o but if it is an anhydrous form znso4 what is the molecular formula 161.47 gram see what is the sulfur is the 32 oxygen is the 16 16 into 4 plus 32 minus that much minus plus karo up to 161 you will get the molecular weight of zinc otherwise you see into the your 
periodic table what is the molecular weight of the zinc next one is the what is the synonym nothing but the white vitriol so another one is there green vitriol as well as the blue vitriol which compound is called as a green vitriol as well as the blue vitriol already i told you ferrous sulfate yes ferrous sulfate is called as a green vitriol as well as the blue vitriol now what is the synonym of the zinc sulfate white vitriol it's a very important question so white vitriol is nothing but the zinc sulfate and this mineral of the zinc sulfate is called as a gold sarite this is a gpat question so the mineral of the zinc sulfate is known as a gold sarite and the white vitriol sometime they will ask the question according to their synonym explain about the white vitriol then you you are not going to confuse what is mean by the white vitriol it is a synonym of the zinc sulfate next one is the appearance nothing but the color what is the nature first nature of the zinc sulfate is the crystalline in nature so what is the appearance they are available into the white color and available into the powder as well as the granules form सो जे ग्रैन्यूल्स ये ऑटोमैटिकली कंपाउंड्स कश मोस्टली बर का सगले नहीं मोस्टली कंपाउंड्स आर द क्रिस्टलाइन इन नेचर सो दैट द व्हाट इज द कलर कलर इज द व्हाइट अवेलेबल इनटू द पाउडर एज वेल एज द ग्रैन्यूल्स फॉर्म नेचर इज द क्रिस्टलाइन ओडर इज द ओडरलेस टेस्ट इज द दैट हैविंग अस्ट्रिंजंट एंड द मेटेलिक टेस्ट एस्ट्रिंजंट इज नथिंग बट द मराठी मध्य तुरट दैट कंपाउंड हैविंग अ तुरट नथिंग बट द एस्ट्रिंजंट टेस्ट एज वेल एज द मेटेलिक टेस्ट एंड सोल्यूबिलिटी दे आर मेनली सोल्यूबल इन टू द वॉटर सो मॉलिकुलर फॉर्मुला झिंक सल्फेट झेड एन एस ओ फोर मॉलिक्युलर वेट वन सिक्सटी एट वन सिक्सटी वन सिनॉनिम इज द व्हाइट विट्रीऑल एंड द मिनरल ऑफ द झिंक सल्फेट इज नोन एज अ गोल्ड सैराइट एंड कलर दे आर नेचर नेचर इज द क्रिस्टलाइन इन नेचर सो एपीरियंस नथिंग बट द कलर दे आर अवेलेबल इन टू द व्हाइट पाउडर एज वेल एज द ग्रैन्यूल फॉर्म ओडर ओडर इज हैविंग अ ओडरलेस एंड टेस्ट इज नथिंग बट द एस्ट्रिंजंट एंड मेटेलिक टेस्ट सी झिंक सल्फेट तुम्हें जे टालकम पाउडर आता तुम्हें जे फेस पाउडर आता बहुत झिंक सल्फेट असतं किंवा झिंक ऑक्साइड असतं जस्ट टू ऑब्झर्व दॅट कंटेंट ऑफ युअर टॅल्कम पावडर सी झिंक सल्फेट सो नाउ नेक्स्ट वन इज द मेथड ऑफ प्रिपरेशन हाऊ टू प्रिपेअर द झिंक सल्फेट देर आर मेनली प्रिपेअर बाय युजिंग द टू मेथड्स नथिंग बट द फर्स्ट इज द ब्लेंडिंग ऑफ द झिंक टू द सल्फाइड मॉलिक्यूल्स एंड यू विल गेट द झिंक सल्फेट व्हॉट दे विल डू फर्स्ट वन इज नथिंग बट द oxidation process but how that the zinc molecules are binding to the sulfide molecule see zn binds to the sulfide so zns zinc sulfide bind and what will happen there is a oxidation process are going you have to provide the heat whenever triangle will come nothing but the under heating so you have to provide the heat nothing but at high temperature what they will form nothing but the zinc sulfate zinc binds to the sulfide molecule nothing but the zinc sulfide oxidation process will occur and under the heating you have to provide the uniform heat what they will form they will form the zinc sulfate and next one is the from zinc metal they can be prepared by using the zinc metal also so what is the zn plus h2so for zinc is reacts with the sulfuric acid under the heating you have to provide again heat what they will form zinc sulfate as well as the releasing of the h2 so nothing but the zinc reacts with the sulfuric acid under the heat you have to provide the heat and the they will form the zinc sulfate by the two method first one is the zinc is bind with the sulfide molecules under the oxidation process and the heating they will form the zinc sulfate and from zinc metal zinc metal reacts with the sulfuric acid under the heating process they will form the zinc sulfate and after completion of the reactions after getting the product or the reaction mixture that reaction mixture you have to treat with the chloride water whenever you will prepare this one you will get the reaction mixture so what we have to do that reaction mixture you will get the semi solid mixture liquid plus solid so you will get the reaction mixture that reaction mixtures you have to treat with the chloride water for what purpose to remove the impurity of the iron why we have to treat with the chloride water because we have to remove the impurity of the iron for that purpose after completion of the reaction nothing but the after 
getting your preparations getting your product nothing but the reaction mixture what we have to do we have to do the that product you have that reaction mixtures you have to treat with the chloride water for that to for what purpose to remove the impurity of the iron this is the preparation method of the zinc sulfate next one is the uses what are the uses of the zinc sulfate see this is the creams various creams are there so for example for your purpose only i give in market which compounds are available in that containing zinc sulfate so uses are the astringents it act as a ophthalmic astringents ophthalmic nothing but the use for the eye purpose so it act as a ophthalmic astringent nothing but i think ear drops is there so oh, eye drops are there next one is the zinc supplements next one is the emetics and the antiseptic all of you know what is mean by the emetics what is emetics what is emetics already i told you what already i gave chapter nothing but the emetics as well as the expectorants what is the emetics compounds which pre prevent vomiting emetics i think but the which produces the omitting emetic emesis which having a capacity to produce the omitting nothing but the it act as a emetic as well as the antiseptic prevent from the i organism so it act as a antiseptic agent astringent agent zinc supplements nothing but for the supplement tablets are there and next one is the emetic and what is the storage you have to store into the well closed container as well as the non metallic container you should not keep the zinc sulfate on a metal container you have to keep on a glass bottle otherwise your plastic bottle but you have to avoid the metallic container for the storage of the zinc sulfate use is very important astringent astringent kutla category madhe astringent act hoto tar mainly ophthalmic nothing but the eye drops then zinc sulfate zinc supplements also act in your body so supplements they are giving the tablets as a supplements next one is the emetics as well as the antiseptic next one is the alum there is a no you, there is a no assay as well as the chemical properties of the zinc sulfate there is a no use because that the zinc sulfate as well as the alum mainly what they will ask mainly they will ask the method of preparation as well as the uses so we are not going to study about the chemical properties as well as the assay of the zinc sulfate only what we are pre what we are going to study nothing but the preparations physical properties as well as the molecular formula molecular weight as well as the uses and the storage this is the all about the zinc sulfate molecular formula znso4 molecular weight 161 you have to cross check also whenever my lecture will finish you have to cross check whether ma'am given correct or not then synonym is the white vitriol and mineral of the zinc sulfate is known as a gold sarite appearance nothing but they are available into the crystalline form color is the white available into the powder as well as the granules form odor is the odorless taste is the astringent and the metallic taste and mainly soluble into the water zinc